Today we're at the original store one of tire discounters, Wooster Pike. We opened this wonderful facility in 1976. That was the winters of the 70s, so it was intensely snowing nonstop. That showroom was covered with solid ice. It was challenging. We had one bay door, and everything we did, we worked outside. Yeah, you couldn't get you a couldn't, car. You couldn't put a car inside, door. so. So we would jack the cars up and shovel the snow out of the way and, and change the tires and hope that we didn't lose anything in the snow right behind us. Usually the lug nuts. And they would go, <laughs> and we'd have to dig around in front of the customers, which was very embarrassing. But we fixed it up and made it store one. All my life, ever since I was a little kid, my dad had, had raised me to, to know that I was going to own my own business. After college, I was ready to open my tire store, and that's what we have here. For me, I was 15 or 16. It was really fun and exciting being here. Whether I was pushing a broom or changing a tire or, or fixing something, it was, it was a really fun job as a kid. Our father was very, very instrumental in, in, in where we are today. He owned quite a few businesses. He started a lot of businesses. Uh, he invented a lot of things. He, he was always hands-on. He kept the overhead down when Chip first started because he basically repaired or built everything that was needed. So Tire Discounters was born. I took out the largest ad I could buy in the Yellow Pages, which is how people found you back then, and made it look as official as I could because it was just us. I mean, it was this little company with this little building. From the beginning, it was decided that we should offer mounting and balancing for no extra charge. The idea quickly became one price, that's it. That was a really big deal to people. One price, that's it. We loved it. It was easy for us. Customers loved it. it uh, that became our mantra and we were off to the races. The competitive climate was was very aggressive, and you had, you know, a company like uh, like Tire Discounters who had only had a couple stores. We had to be really strong. We had to, to be the experts in the business. One tire sale would be the difference between, you know, um, um, being profitable that day or, or being upside down. Chip was the Vince Lombardi of the business too. He would make us do it over and over and over <laughs> until we got it right. Customers. They, they, they could go anywhere. They could afford to go anywhere, but they chose to come to us. Obviously, the looks of the store wasn't getting them back. <laughs> so we had to go above and beyond to help the clientele that was in this original area. I knew there was an element missing, and it finally dawned on me that everybody that bought tires needed to have their car aligned. So, Voila, you know, wait a minute, can we do that? I mean, because that's what customers want and need. And from that point on, in 1997, actually, we started aligning cars for free every time you bought a set of tires. It's made a big difference for us, too. I mean, today, Chris is buying multiple containers of tires, sometimes the entire manufacturing run from a plant in, in, in any given country where before, just, just 30, 40 stores ago, you know, it would be uh, a tall order to fill a semi. You don't stand still. If you're not moving forward, if you're not innovating, if you're not growing, you're moving backwards. There is no standing still. So 100 stores, 60 stores, it doesn't matter. The next one's got to be coming next.